Mark here with the Government Vault, and we have a video where Representative Jim Jones talks to the director of the CDC about their actions taken during COVID, and specifically a lot of the information that they passed on the American public. Some very interesting stuff here. So please like and subscribe, and let's dive in. I now recognize Mr. Jordan from Ohio for Thank you, Mr. Answer. Chairman. Doctor, why did you and the Biden administration mislead the American people? Um, you'd have to say more. I Mar wouldn't claim March that 29, I did. 2021. Vaccinated people do not carry the virus. Vaccinated people don't get sick. We got that information from clinical trials, but also real world data. It seems to me there are a number of statements you make in there that aren't accurate. Um, do vaccinated people carry the virus? In March of 2021, um, the vast majority of data demonstrated that the vast majority of people were not getting infected if they were vaccinated. That's not what you said. You didn't say the vast majority of people. You said vaccinated people do not carry the virus. Was that accurate? Uh, it was generally accurate. Generally accurate. Why not just be accurate? Why not just tell the American people the truth? Why not say, why not you say to the American people just what you said to me? We're big boys and girls. We pay your salary. The government is supposed to be of the people, by the people, for the people. Why not just tell us the truth? Uh, I was speaking. Was six weeks later when you said if you were to get infected during post vaccination, you can't give it to anyone else. Was that accurate? Uh, what was the date of that? May 19, 2021. Um, at the time, we had the Wuhan strain and then the Alpha strain. That was the Alpha strain that was circulating. That was generally true. Yeah. Generally true again? Why not again? Why not tell the American people this is generally true? Because um, there was a huge conspiracy to mislead the American public. I got two, two of the vaccines. Only two, and then I stopped. I got COVID anyway. Didn't seem to help. So what's the real story here? I couldn't tell you the exact data on the vaccine effectiveness of symptomatic disease and severe disease at the time. What I can tell you is that we generally saw that if you were to get infected after you had been vaccinated, that you were not carrying the virus by transmitting it to somebody else. You could not transmit it to others. Boy, that's a whole lot different than what everybody else was telling us. But we know that's not accurate. It was at the time. Now, what really? happened? Yes, in really? May of 2021, it, what, that, was hap that was true really? for the Alpha variant. What, what well, happened? Let me ask you about the, all the general statements that were made to the American people, not general statements, the way you guys said it. You said, uh, was it our tax dollars? Were, were our tax dollars used in the lab in, in China? Uh, that is something that you would have to speak to NIH about. Our tax dollars were used. Uh, it, it sure looks like it was gain-of-function research. It sure looks like it actually came from the lab, and we've had several agencies, federal agencies, say that's in fact where the virus originated. And some other interesting news is that we are still funding that lab. There is still American tax dollars going to the Wuhan lab. Unbelievable. The Biden administration told us that the vaccinated couldn't get it. We know that's not accurate. The, Vi the Biden administration told us the vaccinated couldn't transmit it. They told us mass work, and they told us there was no such thing as natural immunity. That seems to me to be, what, seven different statements that turned out not to be true that we got from this administration. Again, why not just tell the American people the truth? Um, so I would dispute some of what you just said. In October 2021, CDC released a scientific brief highlighting all of the science that was out there on infection-induced immunity. And there, I, I don't know the long list that you, I don't remember all the long list, but there are numerous areas where we have provided science um, and the science review to, to provide data to the American people as soon as we had it. I don't get me started with the science discussion. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. YouTube will ban me. I am not going there with trust the science. I actually think what happened is you actually tried to be honest with the American people and the Biden administration shot you down. Do you remember when you said this in February? This is before you made these statements, which I think are not, uh, not being square with the American people. You said vaccination of teachers is not a prerequisite for safely reopening schools. Did you make that statement? Uh, something to that effect. I can't exactly say the quote, but yeah. Vaccinations of teachers is not a prerequisite for safely reopening schools. I think you made that statement on February 3rd. Um, do, you, do you stand by that statement? Um, at the time, yeah. I, I, that we, we had an, uh, a week later or 10 days later, we had an operational guidance that demonstrated layered mitigation strategies and that you could safely reopen. Were you speaking as, were you speaking? You know, the big thing is, is that, boy, was this such an overreaction, in my opinion. But I had COVID, I was sick for a week, and then I was fine, and on the road I went. Of course, I don't have, you know, 100 comorbidity things that lots of these people that got really sick had. But 
Good Lord. Speaking as Dr. Walensky, or were you speaking as Dr. Walensky, head of the CDC? Um, I have said that while I've been in front of Congress and the media um, and press conferences, I, during my tenure as CDC director, I've been speaking as the CDC director. But that's not what the White House said, right? Uh, Jen Psaki said, Dr. Walensky spoke to this in her personal capacity. Do you remember that statement? I do. Uh, who's right? Uh, you Jen Psaki or you? Well, I will tell you that I was speaking in my... my um, Looks to, me, the CDC looks, to me, looks to me like what happened is in February, you said, I'm going to be honest with the American people. I'm going to give it to them straight. Vaccination of teachers is not a prerequisite for safely opening schools, and the Biden administration hung you out to dry. They didn't. The left eating the left. You got to love it when you see it. Nope. She ain't talking for us. She ain't talking as the head of the CDC. She's talking as Dr. Walensky. And then a month later, you said, well, you know what? I better not be totally honest with the American people. So I'm going to say vaccinated people do not carry the virus and they don't get sick. And everyone understands, like, wow, I know someone who's been vaccinated and they've gotten sick afterwards. Some hotline news. I just read this morning that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has been pulled from the market because of people getting blood clots because of that vaccine. Imagine all the people that said, I'm getting sick because of this. And everybody said, oh, no, that could never happen. This is the safest thing. It's safer to, than drinking clean water. I think what happened is you tried to be honest and they said no. Nope. And then you said, well, I'm going to have to hedge a little bit. I'm going to have to give the American people misleading statements from the head of the CDC. You were speaking as head of the CDC in both situations, right? I have said I've been speaking as the head of the CDC. All the time? Yeah. Well, it would have been nice if you'd have just been honest and straightforward with the American people every single time throughout this, uh, throughout this virus. With that, I yield back. I Ugh, government being honest. Boy, wouldn't that be a nice thing. Speaking of honesty, we've got another video you might want to check out where Dr. Fauci, I'll let you decide whether or not he's telling the truth or not, but Senator Hawley is all over him trying to make trying to get to the bottom of it. So check out that video. Thank you.